We live in the age of COVID. Go wash your hands. This is how I wake up every oh. single morning. Just this little eyes. <laughs> Just those little eyes looking at me. Come on. Are you cold? Do you want to go under? No? Should we get up? Should we get up? Mm -hmm. Should we get up? Okay. Good morning. <laughs> I don't know where the plug is. Awkward. Isn't she beautiful? She's a little loud in the morning, but we're fine. It's fine. I just got out of the shower. I combed my hair. I put on long pants because it's cold in my apartment. I put on my Animal Crossing t-shirt because Animal Crossing is life. And I put on my contacts, so you know I mean business. I'm about to do my skincare routine for the day. I typically have oily skin, but recently I found my skin to be very dry and I don't know why. So it's a CeraVe um, Daily Moisturizing Lotion and this is for normal to dry skin. Um, but like I said, I've had really dry skin. So I have been using this. I pretty much like put a pretty generous amount on and that's like all I do. Okay, the next thing that I use is this Chula um, Rose, and Glow, Rose Glow and Get It. It's a cooling and brightening eye balm. So I've been a long time fan of Tula. They are a bit on the pricier side, but I think that their products are so worth it. They're so good. I have just been loving this. I basically swipe it on under my eye, um, like so. And it looks like that, so I look kind of crazy. But I just like pat it out, and then it just leaves this really nice glow behind. And I think it does a good job of keeping my eye area, especially my under eyes, really moisturized. My lips have been so dry recently, like literally so cracked, so chapped. I normally use Vaseline, but this time around Vaseline wasn't working for me. This is honestly just a tried and true drugstore product, but I just got it and it's Carmex, classic lip balm medicated. And honestly, it has changed my life. I actually have two of them. I have one in the pot that I use when I do my skincare routine and then I have one in like the tube that I use that I keep on my desk that I use throughout the day but it is the most amazing thing in the world I honestly swear by it it's my favorite thing if I can influence you to buy anything it's Carmax so that is pretty much my routine I do that morning and night and my skin has been pretty good honestly so oh, a FaceTime <laughs> Hello. I just got off of a FaceTime with my best friend Anna. But um <laughs> what was the last thing I filmed? Can you put my socks back? <laughs> me trying to weekly vlog is just going to out me as being lazy because if you guys only knew how much stuff Eddie does for me every day. Literally do everything. <laughs> just you know, just get out of that too. <laughs> I'm going to, well, my camera fell a little bit. I'm gonna put on my makeup. I already got my stuff. I have my, my, what is this called? Impressions Vanity Light here. I'm gonna turn it on. Whoa, she's bright. I mean, it's not awful. Oh, that's better. Okay, that's better. I'm gonna start off with my YSL Touche Claw Primer. I bought this a while ago, and for a very long time, it was my absolute favorite primer. I just, feel so fancy when I wear it. I think I'm gonna put a head, use a headband to put my hair back. I got these on Amazon. <laughs> they look like Gucci, but they are not. But I just love how they look. Just keep my hair back. Of course, it's not working. I'm using my Beauty Blender Bounce uh, Liquid Whip Longwear Foundation. I'm in the shade 2.40, but I always feel like this doesn't work. Do you see how this is not coming out? Can I have um like a pin? I feel like I had to poke like where it comes out because I feel like maybe the foundation is stuck in there. I really like this foundation. It's just like so annoying because it gets stuck and then there's just like no way of getting the product out. Oh my god, this like literally won't come out. Got it. <laughs> and I did it without Eddie's help. Good for me. 
was better. <laughs> I forgot my concealer. I'm not gonna put on concealer, whatever. Anyway, that's my foundation. I don't know if it looks good on camera, but I think I look great. <laughs> I am gonna go in lightly with a powder. I've been using the Bare Minerals Original Mineral, min mineral <laughs> Original Mineral Veil. A package just came. Eddie's gonna get a package, Amazon just called. So, we'll see what's in that. I just put powder on. What are we doing next? Oh, blush. I'm gonna use a Sephora palette. This is a blush palette. I got it a while ago. I think, honestly, this is like $15 maybe. Or I got it on Black Friday sale. I think I'm gonna go in with this color. I'm gonna go in for highlighter. This is an old Becca palette from last Christmas, I think. It's the Apri Ski Glow. And I think I'm gonna go in with this shade, which is, sorry, this shade, which is opal. I think I'm gonna use my Jaclyn Hill palette. This is just her original palette that I actually really like. Eddie's back, packages. That was weird. <laughs> it's a fluffy brush. I'm just gonna go in with a light brown shade, just for my crease, just to like deepen it up. I'm gonna add just a shimmery shade on top just to give me some shimmer. Let's see what I got from Amazon. I got two necklaces, so let's see if they are nice. So cute. It's probably cuter like without the hoodie, like with just my, with just like a crew neck on, but it's cute. I think I would make it even like shorter. Yeah, like I think that's good cute okay the second thing that i got and i have wanted something like this for a while um but the one that i wanted from this one jeweler which almost 200 dollars, and this year we're on a budget so i got this one off amazon for ten dollars and it is a 1992 necklace which is my birth year i've wanted one of these year necklaces for a while and i just decided to order one for myself for ten dollars you know treat yourself what it looks like is it gonna focus 1992 so cute that's that um do i want to put eyeliner on maybe a little bit i got this anastasia beverly hills brow kit over the summer i don't think i'm gonna fill them in today but i'm going to use the clear brow gel just to lift them up and maintain them a little bit i honestly that's what i should do while well, we're still in quarantine, like watch a video on how to fill out your brows because I am so hopeless at it. I'm going to curl my eyelashes. I, over the summer, well early fall, did a kind of like gifted collaboration with Jill Stewart Beauty where they just sent me some products um, in exchange for me doing like an Instagram story. So one of the products that I received was their mascara, which I actually really like. I think it's very nice. I'm pretty picky with mascara because a lot of them make my eyelashes drop. I probably shouldn't be talking during this because then I'll mess up. But I feel like a lot of them make my eyelashes drop. And so I'm pretty picky with what I like. And I actually really like this one. Okay. And then I think I'm pretty much done with the face. And the last thing that I'm going to do is... Apply a lip color. Lipstick is genuinely my absolute favorite thing in the whole world, especially in terms of like makeup products. I love a red lip, but I think I'm gonna go for something a little more subtle today. I got this warrant during the Nordstrom anniversary sale and I've been obsessed with it since. It's the Charlotte Tillsbury, um, Tillsbury, is that right? Charlotte Tilbury. Charlotte. <laughs> I said Tillsbury, like Pillsbury. Um, it's a Charlotte Tilbury um, Pillow Talk set, which I think is one of her biggest colors, but it comes with a lip pencil, a lipstick, and a lip gloss. So I'm just gonna put all of them on. right now <laughs> okay 
I'm just gonna spritz down. And then I think I'm gonna curl my hair now because I just like how I look with curled hair and we're creating content today. So, curled hair it is. I had to turn my tree off because I was curling my hair. There we go. Um, I just finished curling my hair. I used the T3. My mom actually got me for Christmas one year, like a trio, so it comes with, I, I don't know, I don't know the sizes, but it comes with three different um, curlers, plugs, switch in, and today I used a really big one. I normally don't use this one, but my hair is getting like a little longer, so I use the big one. It doesn't give like really like tight curls. It gives kind of like loose, um, waves which is what I want today so I'm gonna get kind of let it set a little bit and then I'm gonna comb it out a little but I like how it looks I'm kind of feeling myself Eddie is behind me playing the PlayStation PlayStation 4 to clarify because <laughs> we don't have a PlayStation 5 <laughs> disrespect. I just finished filming and now is the part that I hate putting everything back. I absolutely hate it. Um, so I'm going to clean up, put everything back, and then I think I'm going to make lunch because it's 2.30 and pretty hungry. Hello. I put my hoodie back on because I was cold and because we've stopped filming. I'm going to make some lunch. Normally on my weight loss journey, I make like a wrap or a sandwich for lunch, but today I am kind of craving something just a little heartier, something warm. So I'm going to make dumplings. This is a shrimp big gyoza dumpling. It's just like a big shrimp dumpling and they're so delicious. We got another package. I just finished lunch. The dumplings were delicious. I honestly love dumplings so much. Like even saying the word dumplings, I'm like, I want dumplings. I'm eating some Reese's right now. Reese's are like my weakness and I always keep a bag of the miniature ones in my fridge just so I can eat like a piece or two a day. And it's especially helpful when I'm like eating healthy, when I'm like eating like salads and like wraps, just like having a piece of chocolate is so good. I am catching up on some Vlogmas videos and then I am going to start editing my video. My mood is eating chocolate. <laughs> okay, my back is. These are like waffle wide leg lounge pants and I love I love wide leg pants. I feel like last year especially wide leg jeans were like really a trend and I absolutely love those. Like I just haven't really been into skinny jeans for a while. I really like straight leg and wide leg. So I got these pants. I'm gonna try it on. If I like it, I'll show you. If I don't show you, I'm probably crying in a corner somewhere. So we'll see. Okay, update. I tried them on and I love them, so I'm going to show you. So it's not exactly cropped on me, but I still absolutely love them. I don't know how well you guys can see, but this is what they look like, and I think they're so cute. They are like waffle, and they're so soft. They're they're kind of cold because we just got them from the mail, and I think they're supposed to be like cropped, but on me they are not. But I still think they're so cute and they're so comfortable. It has an elastic waistband um it has a little pocket here they're so freaking cute i want them in every color now i'm so obsessed 10 out of 10 would recommend good morning Ta -da. good morning <laughs> hello good morning today's wednesday we are going to have our morning protein shake i stepped on the scale this morning I kept fluctuating between 142 and 141 and it just like the scale wouldn't move and naturally it was Thanksgiving so I wasn't trying to stress that much. I was like, you know what, I'm just going to enjoy the holiday, whatever. But today we finally hit 140 and I'm so excited and I know that whenever I hit a milestone it fluctuates so tomorrow I could go up to 141 but just seeing 140 on the scale I was so excited. I'm like pretty much down 10 pounds, right? That's 10 pounds. I'm so excited. I started my weight loss journey at 150. My goal is 110, so I wanted to lose 40 pounds. I'm down 10 pounds. I have 30 more to go, but just like hitting that milestone was so exciting. But today, we're going out. Eddie has to run some errands, and normally I wouldn't go. Normally I would just be home alone, which I hate being home alone. But since we're vlogging, 
I figured we need a different background other than my house. We are going to Herald Square, right? To go to um, Old Navy because Eddie has to pick up some stuff for his family. And then we are going to the Lower East Side because he has to go home and run some errands. And then we will probably zoom over to Tribeca because that is where my job that I got laid off from, that's where the office is. I have been putting off cleaning out my desk. Originally the direction was for us to clean out our desk when things opened up and they never did. So I've been putting it off, but Eddie was like, listen, you have a birthday this weekend. It is time to close that chapter. I think that I'm finally going to drag myself over there, clean out my desk, be done with it, close that chapter and move on. Eddie, it's flurrying. It's barely snowing. It's like falling from the sky. It's like flurrying outside but and I tried to get out of going, but Eddie said I couldn't. He said I had to go. It's not even going down, it's flying back up. So what are you doing here? I tried to get out of going, but he told me no. On the run from my given disaster. Speed away from the holy mind. Pride. That's where I never thought it would Hello. <laughs> Just neck. All neck. Just all Just neck. All neck. It's snowing. Eddie told me it wasn't gonna snow, but it's snowing. I don't even think I'm in focus. 10 out of 10 would not recommend. <laughs> I'm not much of an Old Navy shopper, but I'm walking around with Eddie. <laughs> I saw some graphic tees that I like that I added to the bag, so. You really can't take me anywhere. <laughs> if I'm gone by now. Finally, whoa, I look so pink. Look at it. Oh, well, something's with the lighting. Oh well, <laughs> we're finally in the Lower East Side. What's wrong with being pink? Here? Eddie took forever at Old Navy. Hey. <laughs> we're finally in the Lower East Side. We took the F. M. We took the M to the Delancey and Essex Street stop, which is one of the worst stops because you have to go up and down and up and down. And, <laughs> and I absolutely hate it. <laughs> We stopped at a little empanada cart because I think I'm going to have an empanada and then just eat my salad. I'll be good. Um, but we're going to go to his apartment now, run some errands, and then we're going to shoot over to Tribeca so I can clean up my desk. I keep on trying to defend, still it feels like I'll pretend, keep on trying. We're finally in Tribeca. It's our last stop of the day. Mm -hmm. I am absolutely frozen. It is so frigid outside. I have been dreading this all day long, just having to go in and clean out my desk, but we're here, we're gonna do it, and then we're gonna go home, put on comfy clothes, and cry our feelings out if we need to. So, yeah. Hello, today is Thursday, December 10th. It is 1.11 to be exact. So a very late start to the day. I honestly couldn't even get up to sit at my desk. So we are lounging on the couch, flattering angles as always. Honestly, going out yesterday <laughs> really knocked us out, especially me because I am not used to that much physical activity these days. Eddie just whacked an ornament off the tree. He's the Grinch who stole Christmas. I wanted to share that I got this off of Amazon. So I have this surge protector over there. You can probably see it 
but the wires just honestly kill me like anytime i see wires it truly drives me up the wall so i saw this on tiktok a while ago and so i went on amazon to search for like a surge protector box to kind of hide it like i know the wires will come out i just won't see them like scattered around here so this is the one we got off of amazon i can link it down below I just made lunch. I'm just having a little sandwich. Honestly, I look forward to my sandwich every day. A typical, like, lifestyle, weight loss lifestyle <laughs> day for me is a sandwich for lunch and a salad for dinner. And honestly, I'm pretty content. And Kenny's about to start begging. Hello. I realize I didn't start the vlog for today. It is Friday, December 11th. We're heading out to go take pictures and we'll take you along with us. Do not hate me because I don't have a mask on. We're in a very quiet area in New York City. We just finished taking vlog photos for my relaunch. We found this quiet little corner and I'm so excited with the way they turned out. We're in a quiet corner so there aren't a lot of cars passing by but Eddie Hernandez saw a cab and quickly got into position to take a photo. We love him, we respect. This is the corner that we found. It's, what is this, Commerce Street and Bedford Street I'm not sure but we took a photo in front of here because I wanted some cute like crossing the street photos but I'm really happy with the way they turned out I just got a package from my best friend Anna um, my birthday is tomorrow December 12th I'm a December baby I'm a Sagittarius 12 12 and she sent me a package and I just thought it would be fun for us to open it together Sweet. That's so sweet. Stop it. Oh my gosh. I actually saw this and I wanted it. <gasps> I love Disney. Love Mickey Mouse. He is my favorite. I'm screaming. Fun fact about myself is that I love Disney, but I specifically love Lilo and Stitch. Oh my god. Isn't that so cute? And oh wait, look at this. I actually saw this and I wanted it. Oh, that's cute. Isn't that so cute? I'm, I'm that's screaming. That's so funny. That's uh, it is a spirit jersey. It says, okay, in the front, in the back, it has Stitch, and it says Ohana. Oh, my God. She made me Fruit Loop Rice Krispie Treats. I am, like, obsessed with these. They're so good. I've never tried this one, but... Oh, my God. So good. 10 out of 10. Would recommend. I am obsessed. Anna Parisi. Oh, I don't know if she wants me to out her last name, but Anna, if you're watching this, thank you so much. So sweet. Hello. We're back at my desk. We got home a little bit ago. Um, I was planning to show you guys my pizza, but I got so hungry and I blacked out and I stuffed my face and now no pizza to show so i'm going to end the vlog here um and get ready to start next week's but i just want to say thank you so much for watching thank you so much for sticking with me i really appreciate it please feel free to like and subscribe it definitely helps a small content creator like myself who's just starting out but yeah thank you so much for watching and i will hopefully see you in my next vlog